from today's TMJ4. This is breaking news now on your side. That breaking news, an historic transition. Pope Benedict XVI has stepped down. Marquette University marked the occasion this afternoon. Bells rang for 15 minutes at Marquette's campus to signify the official resignation. At noon, they held a Thanksgiving mass to honor Benedict's ministry and to pray for his health moving forward. Benedict is the first pope to resign in 600 years. And until a successor is named, the Catholic faith and its 1.2 billion followers are without a leader. Elizabeth Gordon brings us the latest on today's final farewell and the process of picking the pope. Swiss guards closed the door on Castel Gandolfo, marking the end of Pope Benedict XVI's reign. He is officially retired and assumes the new title of Pope Emeritus. I am no longer the Pope, but I'm still in the church. I'm just a pilgrim who is starting the last part of his pilgrimage on this earth. Thousands lined up to witness History Thursday and welcome Benedict XVI into retirement. He is the first pope in nearly six centuries to resign. In his final public statement as leader of the Catholic Church, he offered one final blessing. May God bless you in the name of the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Thank you all. Before departing the Vatican, Benedict met with 144 cardinals who gathered to offer thanks and well wishes. Some of the cardinals who flock to Rome will soon enter conclave, where they will elect the next pope. We need somebody to remind us of Jesus. That's sort of the, what you might call the supernatural characteristics that you look, of, look for. Along with the prestige that comes with the title of pope, Benedict's successor will also inherit challenges, anger and wavering support in the wake of an ongoing clergy sex abuse scandal. But for now, the sun has set on Pope Benedict XVI's tenure and there is no pope in residence at the Vatican. I'm Elizabeth Corridan reporting. Really an historic day, and it was great to watch it on television. Uh, They're both at St. Peter's Square and then also at Castel del, uh, del Gondo a little bit afterwards. So. Oh, yes, yeah, I'm amazing. I blew that. Castel L. Whatever. You recovered. I was close. 15 miles south <laughs> of where the Vatican is located. Well, for Milwaukee's Catholic community, it's been a day of prayer and reflection. And, of course, many are wondering what's next for the papacy as the Pope officially resigns. We stopped at morning mass at Jesu Parish near Marquette today. Many call Benedict's decision an act of selflessness, thinking about what's best for the church instead of what's best for him. That the Pope realize that... Uh, Maybe his um, physical and mental uh, state and, and his age um, would allow someone else to step in and guide, guide the church in the future. And we asked parishioners who they would like to see succeed Pope Benedict. Many are hoping for a non-European. No coincidence that Cardinal Timothy Dolan is a non-European.